so welcome to this week's vlog. Um, you know, considering there's a nice big cloud in the sky and it was supposed to thunderstorm and I keep hearing some thunder, do I wait for rain and hope it actually comes considering some of these strawberries are wilted already? Or do I go through the bother of trying to do all the watering myself? Because all the bugs sound like it's going to rain. And the birds are relatively quiet like it's going to rain. And I don't want to go through the bother of pulling the hose all the way out. Because my back feels kind of iffy again. I don't know if you could just hear that thunder or not, but maybe I'll give everything a little bit of a water because it's due. I don't think it was supposed to rain all that much anyway, so it could probably use an extra inch on top of whatever comes down. It was supposed to thunderstorm all of this past weekend and today and the whole entire week, but it's been so bad at actually raining this summer that I'm constantly having to water. Even the ground over there by the sunflowers is kind of cracked. It's so dry. Man, I don't want to water anymore. I'm sick of it. So I pulled one of the calendula in. I'm drying it because I'm gonna make a avocado infused oil with it to make some salves, but in the meantime, three more have opened up. Um, I think I'm definitely going to harvest these two. Hopefully a couple more heads come up. I mean, they should if I pull these off, right? And the dill is blooming nicely. I pulled some of the flowers off for... Um, making some fridge pickles because I picked the cucumbers and all those extra zucchinis that I've been having and need some fridge pickles with them. And then I've got a zinnia that's open now. I've only had one so far and I know another one that's growing in some tomatoes over there with the red pear tomato. Um, but then maybe the rest of them didn't really come up. I don't really know what I'm doing with them, so, you know, no surprise. I don't know if anything's actually pollinating this. Hopefully it is. So I've had one, two, three, so four of the sunflowers outside of my plant cage here open up, and then this one here that's opened up, and this is one of those mammoths, and it's reaching the top here. I'm going to say it's about six feet tall. Um, gonna open up soon here. I mean it's kind of pushing up on the net but it shouldn't get knocked all the way down. This jalapeno keeps growing which is nice. More blooms keep opening up so I take my little paintbrush and I pollinate it with the poblanos whenever over there whenever I see them open up hoping to get a good set on them because I don't I don't think I've seen any pollinators on the peppers. I know that the Bees enjoy the pumpkins in the morning, and the melons too, to a certain extent. I think they like the cucumbers better than they like the melons. Um, some of them are still sort of buzzing around the garden a little bit. The fennel here is blooming too. I've never grown fennel before, so it's interesting seeing that. It's just going to be like a herb for a little satchel bouquet now for a flavoring instead of actually being for a vegetable since it's gone to bloom but you know some of them do have a nice bulb down here so i'm gonna go through and harvest those soon before they start blooming too maybe i'll have roast fennel with all those ridiculous amount of zucchinis um i don't know if you can see that pumpkin setting over there by the um where's my finger right there, that little ball there and with the sugar apple. I have it vining from around here to around here and it's gonna keep going behind the tomatoes because I assume it's gonna get that big. 
I should probably pull in some of these smaller tomatoes that are almost ripe if it's gonna rain so that they don't bust open if they get a ton of water. Um, I'm trying to show you, so I've had a couple melons set. Where are the melons? There's a melon. Yay! And then some, uh, let's see if you can see this. There's some butternut squash in there. That's not it. Let's see if I can get in here without breaking all the vines. That's only there, butternut squash. I hand pollinated that one myself, but I didn't have any butternut squash male blooms open at the time, so I ended up pollinating it with the sugar pie pumpkin. So there's butternut squash, and there's a sugar pie pumpkin. So there's a couple of them in there now. I'm excited. I have more food that I know what to do with. Um, I think I'm gonna maybe pull in this tomato and then maybe some of the red ones from over there. The yellow one that I saw over there. And I think there's some like purpley-ish ones over there that I should pull in for if it rains. And the mosquitoes are definitely out so they think something wet is happening. Or maybe I'll just, well, I can't water in the morning because of those strawberries. Yeah, maybe I'll get some watering done. Oh, and the news is eggplants. The flea beetles seem to have finally given up. So maybe these seedlings that I planted all of a month ago might do something. And these guys that I started all the way back in March, this is as tall as they've gotten. But they even look like they're thinking about putting some flowers out. So I might actually get some eggplants this year. I'm excited. I put banana peels in there just straight up on the plants as fertilizer because those vines are growing so hard. Okay, even the birds are talking to me, so maybe it actually will rain. Maybe I'll just get my watering can and put a little splash of water on those strawberries and then hope that the rest takes care of itself with those nice storm clouds. Oh, and I've got a wasp in the plant room again. I don't know where they're coming from. It's probably coming through the air vent. Um, I put diatomaceous earth in there because it wouldn't escape so it could land on a different window somewhere so I could catch it and put it out in the garden. So, um, you know, if you don't want to be let out nicely, then we're going to have to go with the big option. Okay, uh, that's it for this week. Bit of a short one, but okay. Okay, till next time. Bye.